If you're a business owner or you run a marketing agency and you're looking to increase your revenue, get more customers and offer a better experience to your clients, then of course you need some kind of CRM or marketing software. And if you've been looking around for options, you've probably come across Vendasta and Go High Level, two very popular platforms. And in this video, I'll break down the differences between the two, which one you should choose for the best purchasing decision. And we'll look at everything from their pricing, features, benefits, and what makes them unique. But for some quick background, let's look at both of these companies. Vendasta firstly is a robust white label platform that helps marketing agencies offer more products and services to local businesses. It gives you everything to help them with their digital presence from e-commerce, websites, reputation management, SEO, but also you become a technology partner with Vendasta, not just another agency. You have products and services that you can give to them all white labeled under your brand and you can help them with everything they need once again to grow their digital presence. Go High Level on the other hand is very similar in a lot of ways but it's more focused on automation, lead generation and sales. It does have a white label aspect, a CRM and very similar features to Vendasta but where it really shines is lead generation, nurturing and that marketing and sales aspect. It's more important for agencies and consultants and businesses that are looking to improve their lead generation efforts, improve their conversion rates, and just improve their digital marketing ROI. And to jump right into it, let's see how both of these platforms look and feel, and we can actually break down some of the main features as well. And firstly, we're inside of Vendosta. When you first sign up and log in, this is what the dashboard is going to look like. Essentially on the top left, you can add your business logo here. On the top right, everything essentially is where you expect to find. It has a nice clean UI and everything's pretty intuitive, I find. It's not something difficult where you're gonna sign up and buy it and it's gonna take a long time to onboard and get your team and yourself kind of accustomed to it and using it effectively. So on the top right again, here's where we can edit our profile, update our info, switch users. In the top, we have our notifications, messages, the loop where we essentially get a high level overview of what's going on on the account. And we can see we have business accounts here and snapshot reports. We're gonna dive into those in a moment. But this is essentially the main thing you're gonna see on the dashboard. But very importantly, where you're gonna be the most active is here on the left sidebar. So businesses, we can add our contacts, our companies, manage our accounts and lists. Also managing our business apps in multi-location groups and users. If you do have the plan that includes those. Under marketplace, this is where you're gonna be doing things with installing and buying apps, packaging them together. You can see here we discover products, products, packages, and managing your own store. And if you have purchases, you can see them right in the My Purchases section. Marketing, if you're doing marketing, lead generation, and trying to get new customers and increase your customer lifetime value and other activities, you're also going to be spending a lot of time here because we can create our marketing campaigns, we can do our email marketing campaigns, we have guides, acquisition widgets, and we also can edit our forms if we're using that for intaking people um, or using that to collect information and do surveys and things like that. Sales, of course, when you're doing your pipeline, trying to manage your clients and customers um, and increase your sales revenue and getting more customers, this is where you're gonna spend a lot of time as well. You have the sales center, which we'll look at, which is a whole new entire part of the platform just dedicated to sales and your pipeline. My meetings, where you can actually manage and schedule the meetings you have with clients and customers. And then under operations, you can see prospects, pipeline, orders, order fulfillment, tasks, and the task manager is a really big part of Vendosta we'll look at. And then under management, leaderboard, salespeople, sales teams, and goals. So you can actually set goals for the company and individual people in the sales team. You can see how individual sales reps are performing and if they're getting to their targets or not. And then you can work with them accordingly. And we have that. Tasks, again, task manager. It's an entirely new part of the software. You open this up. It's a dedicated part and feature. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. But under tasks, you also have your overview, users, projects, and productivity reports. So you can actually see the productivity in terms of how you're heading towards uh, your different tasks and projects and what's getting done and maybe what's lagging behind which is really important because if you're not organized you're not going to hit your kpis and your targets and actually be growing the business or exceeding uh, in your role billing so of course subscriptions invoices payments and payouts this is where you'll be managing all your finances um, in terms of your company or a client automations also very important to save time and energy my automations system and templates so you can create templates that you can use later in the future or another user or a team member can use that as well. So it's something you can share and other people can have. And then of course, under reports, we have our metrics and we see company-wide how different assets are doing and performing. Under administration, you have different things related to settings and billings and kind of that standard information with your account that you would expect. But one of the first things we're gonna do is head over to Task Manager. So again, click Tasks, click Open Task Manager right here. And then we're over on this platform right here inside of Endosta, the Task Manager. And this is really big. So first of all, let's just take a look at what we have. Now, if you want to add um, a new task, essentially the hierarchy is you have accounts, uh, which can be your own business or a client, and then we have projects we're working on, and then tasks under those. So for example, just from this green button right here, let's click task. And of course, we have to add the account, 
and then we'd add different information here. So we would select that account that we're working with. Again, from the top left over here, you can add an individual account and then the task name. So just for example, create SEO content. Now tags are really important too because it allows you to organize um, the different tasks that you have on the account. So we can just say SEO and then content. Assignee, we're gonna assign that to ourselves. Status, open, in progress, waiting on customer or completed. Of course, that would be open. Let's say the due date is in one week. Write the SEO content on topic for clients, just as an example of what you could put in there. Specialization, so we can actually say technically it might be a social post and this does reoccur, but let's just say that. So we'll create that right there. And then we can actually see it right here. So what's nice is that it's really clean. I like the layout. We can see everything here in terms, again, the title, the account address, assignee, the status, the due date, and then there's actions here. So we can add a note. We can manage files or delete the task. I like that a lot. And then we have completed tasks. So when those actually get set as complete, let's, uh, let's do that right now. Let's see, open, let's say completed. Nice, and then that should pop up over here. Yep, nice, okay, I like that. So let's see my work, my projects, my tasks. Let's explore a couple of things here. So my projects, you can use projects to group related tasks together, allowing you to work better and manage your workflow. So let's actually create one here. So let's just say, yeah, the account, let's do that. We'll say content marketing. Again, we'll say content, say it's a social calendar, save as a template. And if we scroll down here, depending on the type that you choose, some additional options pop up. So we can see content call, we can schedule that as well. So of course we wanna schedule that content on ahead of time, we can do that. And then for example, under the tasks down here, then we can actually edit it a bit more. And we also show that in the business app section um, of Vendosta if we want it as well. But let's do that. And then let's say required again, we'll just say like one week from now and then we'll create that project. So really easy to create them, very easy to organize it. I like that a lot. So again, we saw how to create those tasks, those projects. We can see unassigned tasks as well, which is great. And I believe I did set that as a uh, template. So now we can actually use that again if we wanted to. So we can edit that, delete it. We can add a new template from here. Let's say select from library. There's already a bunch of different things. So let's say website up to 10 pages at one time. And look at that, we see down things here, add to Lifeline, add content to Google Drive. It's already kind of fleshed out for you. And you can map out all those steps and again, assign it to people and then improve your workflow that much. So I really like this, the templates are great, the project and task management, and it's really intuitive. This is my first time in the platform, really easy to use, really to understand. I could honestly use this for my own business and be instantly using it and productive and actually getting the benefits out of it. And we do have our settings as well, monitors sources, Search engines, review sites, directories, social sites, task generation. Let's kind of enable some of these, let's see. Mentions, reviews, social posts. So tag management, we can create them in here or when we're actually creating a project or a task. Task defaults in terms of colors and, and things like that. So you can kind of customize it, email settings, account settings, user settings. So pretty straightforward. Very simple in terms of the layout and how to use it, but it's it's very robust and exactly with what you want. It's kind of simple in a way, but at the same time, it gets really detailed and deep. And again, you saw all the different settings right inside of the projects and the individual tasks that you can add a lot of different robust and detailed things to them and then assign them to people and stay very productive and focused. So let's take a look now at Go High Level. Okay, now we're inside of Go High Level. This is what it looks like essentially when you log into this platform. So pretty similar to Vendosta on the left side, we have a lot of our different tools and features. What I do like about Vendosta, again, is that when you look at it, everything's on the left side. It's also a drop down menu. So you can see everything you want, but then get a lot more detailed features and go really granular. The only problem with Go High Level I found is that everything's a little vague in a way you'd have to click through and find exactly what you want. So definitely Vendosta is a lot more robust in that way and has more features and better ones. And you can get really detailed in exactly what you wanna do. But everything is on the left side. You can switch through your accounts over here. You can also switch to the agency view if you're managing your clients. Top right, everything is where you would expect it with a normal software in terms of settings, notifications, getting the help desk. And on the dashboard as well, we see opportunity status, opportunity value, conversion rate. Of course, this is a brand new fresh account, so there's no data in here, but it is nice just to get a nice snapshot of what's going on in the account or for our client, depending on what we're using it for. 
Facebook ads reports, Google ads. So it has pretty much everything you'd want for marketing and things like that. And you can also edit the dashboard to display different things, which is really nice. So you can change that based on your own business or a client, which is a nice little feature just to kind of organize your data and performance. But specifically with the task manager, uh, what's interesting with go high level, you'll see here on the left, there's nothing that just says project management, task management. It's not as straightforward as Vendosta and it actually took me some time to figure out it's actually inside the contacts is where the task management happens. So it's not dedicated like you saw with Vendosta. It's kind of built into the contact management of the software. So for example, you can see tasks right here. Of course, it's a, a brand new account, so we don't actually have anything. But let's actually create a task and see how it looks and feels. So we'll click this new task button. Let's say SEO article, post the article on the website. Let's say now and then save. We could actually add an assignee or a contact. Looks like we don't need it. So it looks like we have the name and description, contact, assignee. Of course, if we assigned it to ourselves or somebody in the team, we could see that. Due date, status, and then of course we can mark as complete. Nice, and then we can edit and delete. So pretty similar to Vendosta, but it's definitely a lot simpler and from what I can see, there actually isn't really a project management side of it. Like Vendosta, you can actually organize it right from the account and then you have project and then task. So that's the hierarchy, but it looks like the tasks are more just on an individual level with each contact. So actually in that case, you'd probably be doing things like following up, maybe, you know, cold calling, things like that. So I think that's really how they're using it is more on the CRM side from the looks of it. So depending on what you need, if you need something that's more on project management, and more robust and granular, then Mendosta is definitely going to be the better option. But if you just need kind of simpler task management on a client level, contact level, then Go High Level isn't a bad option. Let's look at another really important feature, which is reporting and the snapshot reporting inside of Vendosta and Go High Level. Now, as a business owner or agency owner, you know that data and insights are everything. That's how you're gonna grow your own business, but also grow your client's business and actually give them insights into what's working with their marketing and sales, where the opportunities are, where things are lagging and can be fixed. And really any good marketing on the business or client level is going to be driven by data. So obviously you want some good analytics and reporting and right inside of Vendosta on the left side, we click reports, we have metrics, and this is a fresh account. Of course, we don't have data in here, but we can see active salespeople, gross marketplace revenue, average revenue per paying account or attention rate. And then we can assign salespeople, create sales campaigns, manage our store. So it's actually giving us that insight and action on what to do. So yeah, we're making this amount from our marketplace. We're making this amount per paying account. Well, let's actually increase that and improvement. Let's create that sales campaign. Let's add more salespeople. It's not just giving you the data and leaving you there. It's actually pushing you towards taking action and going in the right direction and doing something with what it's giving you, which is awesome. I really appreciate that. We can also edit it in terms of the timelines. So we wanna look at the last seven days, 30 days custom, we can do that click apply and then it would update. And these metrics are really the core ones you'd be looking at as an agency owner. But very importantly, we wanna be looking at the snapshot reports. But if we go back to the dashboard right here, it says snapshot reports. And it even says, use this to start conversations with business owners, highlighting gaps in their marketing and then proposing the optimal solution. So you can actually make these snapshot reports of your client's accounts and then give it to them. They can see how they're doing. And then you can actually upsell them. You can improve your retention and loyalty with the client because you can show them how they're doing and then give them a plan of action of how to actually improve it and keep scaling it. So let's click create snapshot report. And now when you have your business selected, we have a couple different things we can do here. So we can create that snapshot report. We can add users to the account. We can activate products or services, add more business information. And then we also have details here about the website address, physical address, phone number, we can see the report history here, inbox messages, orders, a really nice high level overview of what's going on with that account. And now pretty similar to go high level, it had a lot of that good data that we needed, but you definitely can see it gets a lot more granular and robust with Vendosta. So if you're serious about getting a lot more data driven insights, you're gonna definitely get that over here. So you can see everything on the account level of your clients and then propose them solutions. And so again, let's actually open up key actions. Let's click create a snapshot report and then we will click view. That opens it up in a whole new tab. They can actually share if you want right from the top sidebar here. Just click share. You can even download it as well if you wanted to have it on your own computer or share it via Slack, email, another channel. Now, of course, again, this is a brand new business and account. So obviously we're not getting the best ratings here on these different things, but it's just to show you what you're gonna actually be able to show your clients. So we can see listings, reviews, 
social website, e-commerce advertising and SEO. They got a 0% score. Um, of course, if it was a real client, they would definitely have some of these already going, especially if you're working with them. But you can see that it gets a grade, which is really nice because it puts things into perspective. But for example, we might see that we have some A's, we have some B's and C's, and we know our strong points and our weak points, and then we can help the client in those areas, maybe upsell them, get them on a new retainer. We have our business details there, listings where we'd actually see uh, where consumers would find them, like their Google listing, reviews if they had any here. So for example, with this mock business that we chose, there's no reviews, of course, but we would see them right here. Social, so we'd see their social media activity, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, their website. Again, we'd see that right here. And we'd also see, does it have the business address, the phone number, is it secure with HTTPS? We can see the homepage size, different things here, and it would check it off. So the industry average would have a video on the homepage, Facebook link, Instagram, Twitter, mobile performance, desktop performance. So this is a really in-depth report, even e-commerce capabilities here online payments, storefront, you get to know everything about your client in one click. You can see how robust this is, even down to SEO, organic keywords, estimated search traffic. You literally get an entire overview of their online presence, their marketing, their advertising, and then you can figure out exactly where you can actually work with them and improve that and actually have a meeting and a conversation. And I'll switch over to go high level and see what we have. So we clicked over to the reporting tab and you can see right away with some mock data, we have Google ads, we see impressions, clicks, conversions, our client spend, we have different campaigns here. We can see some of the different information um, in terms of the revenue, the ROI, which is pretty nice. So it's more of an emphasis right here on the paid advertising of a client, but it seems very robust. It's essentially what you would see inside of Google ads, but inside the platform itself, which is good because then you don't have to necessarily be jumping around between the platforms. Facebook ads, I will presume is the same way. Impressions, click, conversions, we can see the campaigns, the status, clicks, cost, revenue, everything we'd pretty much want. We can organize the columns, which is great. Submit feedback, we can change the dates there. We also have call and appointment reporting, so we can see exactly how our calling efforts are going with clients, if we're closing them, call by status, first time calls by status, top call sources, where those are actually coming from. And then for the appointments, we can see booked, confirmed, showed, no show, and canceled. And then of course, approve your appointment rating and conversion rates from your meetings and appointments that way. So it has more of an emphasis on the paid advertising, it seems, and the other reporting are pretty generic. They're pretty simple. They're not as robust definitely as Vendosta, but if you need something simple, it definitely is an option. Naturally, you're probably thinking, how much does Vendosta actually cost? And we're gonna break down the pricing plans right here. So essentially you can see you have the starter plan, professional, premium, and then enterprise, where you can get a custom plan. If you're an enterprise company, you need a custom solution. Also keep in mind, you'll save 25% if you pay for a year upfront. So if you plan to actually use this software long-term and you're committed to it, definitely go for the annual fee because then you'll save 25%, which is actually a pretty good chunk of money. But if we look at monthly, obviously like any software, it will increase. So technically Vendosta is a little bit more expensive if you do the monthly basis. But if you do annual, it's actually a bit more affordable than go high level. So depending on which one you go for, it could actually be a little bit more expensive or a bit more frugal and budget friendly. But we'll just stick to the annual plan. We can see that $79 a month for the starter plan or $948 a year. No onboarding required, you can just jump straight into it. And there is a 14 day free trial with no credit card. I know with myself as a marketer, if I'm signing up for a software to try out a demo or a trial, Typically, I don't want to enter my credit card. With Go High Level, you do have to do that. So that is another little easy win uh, for this platform that makes it better. And for the other ones, you can request a demo and you can actually run through with their team to figure out if the software is right for you, get an update on all the features and actually how it works and see it hands on. But looking at the starter plans, actually break down what you get. So when it comes to the business app client portal, client users, unlimited client accounts, the CRM with contact management, unlimited contacts in there, Inbox between you and your clients is also unlimited, so there's no cap there. Executive reports to actually see how your clients are doing and performing, that is also unlimited. Advertising intelligence, so seeing essentially how your Facebook ads or Google ads are performing, that's unlimited in terms of the reports on those. Local SEO reports and data is also unlimited. And then the white labeling is co-branded, so you have your branding on it, but there are some Vendosta elements built in. And if you want to be completely white labeled, 
you will have to go for that professional plan, which comes in at $500 a month or $6,000 a year. Again, if you do the annual plan, you're going to save a good chunk of money there. Now, the customized business apps and multi-location apps are not available in the starter plan. If your clients service multiple areas and locations, you may have to go for the professional plan for the best results, but just keep that in mind. And now in terms of the platform for your actual team, now the starter plan, you get one seat. If you want to add more, $30 a month. So depending on your team size, you may have to just start with the starter plan. But if you do need more, there is five um, basic seats with the professional plan. So if that's your team size, that's who you want in the platform. Keep in mind, you may pay for this one. And then $35 a month extra, $65 for the premium. And again, pretty much everything's custom for the enterprise. Sales CRM, pipeline and opportunity management, that's all built into it. You get the sales CRM, your pipeline, you get a high level overview and in-depth data on everything that's going on in your sales pipeline. Marketing automation email campaigns, you can send out a thousand a month, which is about 30 a day. So depending how much email marketing you're doing, a thousand is a pretty fair amount. But if you're looking to scale that up, there's 10,000 in the professional, 50,000 in premium, and then custom in the enterprise. Now, if you did want to send more beyond that, it's 10 cents per 100 emails, 8 cents for the professional plan, and then 6 cents for the premium plan, which is very fair. You get 100 runs a month for your customized workflow automation. So if you're looking to save a lot of time on your day-to-day -day operations and marketing, then you get 100 runs a month, which should be pretty good if you're just starting out. Maybe you're a smaller agency. You get 1,000 in the professional plan and 5,000 in the premium plan. You also get Vendosta payment, so you can accept credit card payment right through the platform. That's essentially their own payment uh, gateway that you can use. You don't have to use PayPal or Stripe or anything like that. You can use Vendosta payments built right into it. Now, keep in mind, you do not get custom fields, the task manager, API and webhooks, premium reports, sales goals, or actually subdividing the platform into additional markets. Now, if you are a larger company that needs these, or maybe you need, let's say, API and webhooks, that's only available in the premium and enterprise Task manager is in the professional plan. Again, go through this. There'll be a link in the description. Get a free trial, see what's right for you, and then you can choose the appropriate plan. And if you go through here, snapshot reports to see at your high level. Snapshot reports to see exactly what's going on in your business. You get 10 a month for those in the starter plan, $2 extra for every additional snapshot. And that's 25 a month in the professional, 15 the premium. And here you can actually see what the Yesware, which essentially is doing email outreach at scale and email marketing and lead gen. You don't get any of that in the starter plan, but it does come in the professional plan. If you're looking to do email marketing for lead generation, nurturing and scaling up your own business and your clients, then you'll definitely want to go for the professional plan. And then, of course, the marketplace, which is a huge part of the software I recommend. You do get some of it with the starter plan. You get the wholesale discounted pricing on apps and services, meaning you get to buy those, add it to your own Vidosta account to offer to your clients, and then you'll still be able to market up and get a profit yourself. You have a marketplace store, so that's where you actually discover and package together products from Vendosta's marketplace and then display them however you'd like. So you could buy them, package them up in a certain way, maybe one for marketing, one for sales, one for local reputation management, however you would like to do it, and then you can brand it yourself. But you do not get to white label and rename the select apps and software unless you're in the professional plan, and you do get access to volume discounts in the premium and enterprise. So we plan to actually buy a lot of different products and apps you'll get a good discount in the premium plan and above. Now, support and success. Obviously, if you're using a software like this and you're brand new, you obviously want to have support and people helping you along the way. You do get the online learning academy and all of the plans, which is really good. So you get that help desk, those articles and videos to help you along. There's a weekly webinar training as well, which shows live demos and ways to use the software and troubleshoot it. And everybody gets that. Now, if you want the rest, which is priority support, workflow automation support, in-market training, API support, invoice billing and flexible billing terms that's only available for the enterprise i think a lot of agencies even though they would benefit from this you can definitely go with the premium or professional and still be able to really scale up you and your client's business and get the best results now moving over to go high level you can see that comes in at 97 dollars a month so if you go for the annual pricing on vendosta it is cheaper but if you do monthly then go high level actually will save you about 20 dollars a month or so now, the other plan that they have, Unlimited 297, and you can see, as they say, with the starter plan, you get all the tools to capture more leads, nurture and close leads into customers, online booking, pipelines, social calendar, a website builder, and more. You get unlimited contacts and users. You can add as many contacts and users as you want, which is a big bonus. And then you can set up to three sub accounts on the platform. And then with the unlimited plan at $297 a month, you get everything in starter plus API access. If you want to create those custom integrations, unlimited sub accounts and as many client accounts as you need for one price. 
and then a branded desktop app. So custom domains and complete control over the look and feel of the domain. So again, there is that white label aspect built into Go High Level, but I would definitely say it's a lot more effective and robust with Vendosta. And now if we actually scroll down, we can actually see a bit more of what's in these plans. So with the starter plan, workflow builder, campaign builder, two-way SMS and two-way email, pipeline management, a landing page builder and website builder, standard integrations with other software and tools, calendar, email builder, power dialer for doing your phone calls and cold calls, call tracking, Google, Facebook and attribution reporting, reputation management, basic CRM functionality. It's not as in-depth as its competitor Vendosta, but it's pretty basic and it'll give you what you need a form and survey builder, call recording, website widget, and it also includes chat support. Now, you definitely get more support options, I find, with Vendosta, especially not only just from their team, but all the articles and content and the actual academy they offer to help you use the platform and get the best results. Now, with the Agency Unlimited plan, it's everything in the starter plan. Plus, you get the white label desktop, memberships, basic API access, and chat support. So it's actually not even really that much more. Uh, when you actually compare the pricing plans with Vendosta, it's very clear what you get. Uh, over here, it's a little bit more ambiguous. You do get it outlined, but with Vendosta, it's very clear exactly what you get, how the plans are different, which is better, and it's a lot easier to choose which one's right for you. To wrap things up, if you're looking to become a technology partner with your clients and not just be another marketing agency, Vendosta is gonna be the choice for you. No matter if you're a smaller agency or an enterprise, you can cover everything from marketing, sales, automation, revenue growth, SEO, e-commerce, every single aspect of you and your client's business and offer them products and services completely white labeled under your own brand and with a custom client portal. You can get a 14 day free trial in the description and try out the software for yourself to see if it's right for you. If you're looking for a more simple software to focus more on marketing and lead generation and sales and you're maybe a smaller company, then Go High Level is gonna be a good choice. Again, it does have a lot of similar features. There's a CRM and white label aspects, but Vendosta definitely is better in that regard. And there is a free trial you can try for Go High Level as well if you wanna see if it's right for you. If you wanna learn more about marketing and online business, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You can also let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you would like to see. Hope you're having a great week and I'll see you very soon.